For people in southern Indiana and the areas surrounding it, Evansville Psychiatric Associates is the leading psychiatric clinic, and it has been since it was founded in the 1990s. The clinic, sometimes known as EPA, specializes in studies of behavioral health, such as child, adolescent, adult, and geriatric psychiatry. It also specializes in medication management, psychological testing, and specialized professional counseling. Evansville Psychiatric Associates has three different types of therapists, psychiatrists, psychologists, and licensed clinical social workers. Psychiatrists are doctors of medicine, and psychologists can be doctors of philosophy or doctors of psychology. To learn more about Evansville Psychiatric Associates, I interviewed John Charles Vanek III, a psychiatrist at the clinic. He has served as the chief of psychiatry at West Point's U.S. Military Academy and has been medical director at two different psychiatric hospitals. He is board certified by the American Board of Psychiatry and Neurology in child, adolescent, and adult psychiatry. When was Evansville Psychiatric Associates founded? Evansville Psychiatric Associates was founded in approximately 1998. I moved to town in 1997 and formed my own corporation to perform outpatient psychiatric services at that time. Does your roster of workers change very often or does it mostly stay the same? Um, over the years it's changed quite a bit and part of that is because of the difficulty of uh, and the changes in outpatient psychiatry have made it difficult. A lot of people want to try a private practice milieu and they are unable to make it or they don't like it and they stop. So yes, we've had multiple uh, physicians, multiple social workers, and multiple office staff too. So we've had a fair amount of turnover. What would you consider an average amount of patients seen in a day's work? Uh, for me right now, I'm seeing about 23 or 24 patient, it, patients. It depends if my schedule is full or not. I see people on a 15 minute basis now based on some very recent law changes. I used to see people on a 20 minute basis. When I see a new patient, I take an hour. How much freedom do you have for breaks or lunch, etc.? Well, I, being in private practice and, and, and owning the clinic, everybody in the clinic is an is a independent contractor and a private practitioner like I am. So we can set our schedules and take breaks whenever we want. Some, some doctors actually put breaks into their schedules so they can catch up with paperwork and things like that. I generally don't do that. I try to catch up at lunch or afterwards, but I have a lot of freedom to set my time. Right now I take an hour for lunch from 12 to 1. Do you have a certain area of the building you like the best? <laughs> my office, I think, uh, since I own it, I got the biggest office, so I like my office. I like the artwork in it and the pictures and uh, my computer and looking out the window, so I'd say my office is my favorite part. Is there anything you would change about the building's layout? I wish it was bigger. We're, we're a little cramped. Um, we wish we had a little bit more room. We thought about building out uh, the building. It was originally a bank, uh, but for now, it's about 4,000 square feet and it's adequate, although, like I said, I wish it was a little bigger. How long is an average session for yourself or for other clinicians, and how has it changed over the years? Um, well, that's a good question. Uh, like I pointed out earlier, uh, it has changed. I used to see people on a 20-minute basis, so I'd see three follow-up patients an hour. That's patients I've already seen. Now I have to see four an hour because of billing and coding changes. So I see four follow-up patients in an hour, and it takes me an hour to do a new one. The social workers either see their psychotherapy patients for 45 minutes or for an hour, depending. Sometimes they do an hour and a half session, too. The psychologist, his time really varies. If he's doing psychological testing, he might book somebody for three or even four hours uh, at the same time. Are some patients easier to get along with than others? Oh, absolutely. Uh, and I think we all have patients that, of certain personality types or behavior patterns that we find we deal with better than others. Uh, and there's some people that just are very difficult to get along with. Uh, they don't follow the rules, they don't do what, they, what you say, they miss their appointments. That can be a little bit challenging, but I, I, would, I, I, would, I would dare to say that everybody has their own uh, type of patient they work better with and patients that they have more difficulty with. And that just comes from experience, uh, figuring that out and trying to do the best you can for your patients. At times we send patients to other physicians or clinicians if we feel like we're not doing a good job with them. Uh, has the clinic ever been located somewhere else? And do you prefer this location to the one you're at now? Uh, it has. Uh, when I first came to town, I was the medical director of Deaconess Cross Point, or what soon became Deaconess Cross Point. It used to be a charter psychiatric hospital. And I had my outpatient practice uh, right in the building there. I had my medical director's office and I saw patients there. From there, I moved um, to uh, Virginia and Main Street, there's a very beautiful building there. I don't know who owns it now. It's across from Taroni's. It has really good, really nice reflective glass windows. And I rented space in there with a couple other clinicians. From there, I bought a very old building that was built in the Civil War downtown, very close to Goldman's Pawn Shop and Jaya's Restaurant on 4th Street. And I owned that building for approximately two and a half, three years. 
And then for the last, golly, I, I'll have to make a guess here, for the last nine years, uh, I purchased a building on the near north side of Evansville. It's very close to Weinbach in Morgan. It's actually on uh, Maxwell. And it's an old former bank, and uh, it's a newer building, and it's served our purposes quite well. How many psychiatrists does it take to change a light bulb? One, but, this, but the bulb really has to want to change. Dr. Bamanek works with several other clinicians at Evansville Psychiatric Associates, and they all do their best and treat their patients with the utmost care. The psychiatrists at EPA specialize in understanding human behavior, emotions, and thinking. The psychologists at EPA specialize in psychology and many other areas, such as animal studies and group dynamics. The social workers at EPA spend at least six years training to do their jobs, all of them work together to keep people safe, healthy, and happy. Evansville Psychiatric Associates is located in Evansville, Indiana on 2015 Maxwell Avenue. The clinic advises you to call them as soon as possible if you or someone you know needs the care and attention that therapists at EPA provide.